Hello people, in this video let us look at this terminology Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome or ARDS, ARDS, right? So basically, here the lung is affected and especially the dependent parts, okay? Look at this diagram here. So here is the CT scan of the person. So imagine if he's sleeping um, and uh, you're taking the CT, see how the dependent part of the lungs are, right? The uh, There is a lot of infiltrates here, neutrophils. Look at the chest x-ray in acute respiratory distress syndrome. Bilateral lung infiltrates, that's what they're saying. Lung infiltrates are there and they are bilateral here in the diagram. There is damage to cells within the alveoli. So the alveoli are damaged here. There are activated neutrophils, bilateral radiographic infiltrates, we told you, hypoxemia, that is there is less ox uh, oxygen, is it? Hypox, yeah, less oxygen in the blood. Right, so oxygen saturation is less. You can say blood, blood, uh, arterial blood uh, saturation. Right, so basically, what is the pathophysiology? Why is this all happening? Because of infiltration. In, sorry, inflammation. Inflammation only. That's why uh, neutrophils, isn't it? So um, they're talking about infective and non-infective inflammatory process. Inflammatory, you understood. It can be infective or non-infective. Okay. So there is the there is a lot of exudation. There's accumulation of protein-rich cellular fluid within the alveoli. So there is damage to the cells of the alveoli. What is there in the alveoli? Protein-rich cellular fluid. Okay. And then there is formation of characteristic hyaline membranes. There is release of cytokine. Obviously, inflammatory markers. All these are uh, chemokines, macrophages, neutrophils. That we told you is typical inflammation basically. You will write which can be because of infection or non-infective. Then... Secondary effects, what will be there? There will be surfactant uh, problem because if there is impaired surfactant or impaired surfactant production, loss of surfactant and impaired surfactant production, both are there. What is there also is getting lost. Production also is not happening. So what will happen? Alveolar collapse will happen. Then um, a reduced lung compliance. Mark, this is more in dependent regions of the lung. We already showed you in the CT, right? That is if the face person is supine, then in the dorsal part it will happen. Then um, there will be air filled fluids, uh, uh, sorry, fluid filled air spaces. That's what we told you. Uh, the alveoli are full, full of these protein rich cellular fluid. Okay, focus guys. What are we looking at? ARDS, that is acute respiratory distress syndrome. So let us now look at um, uh, some more here. So there will be hypoxemia that you already know. So because these alveoli cannot work, hypercapnia, that is more uh, uh, carbon dioxide this guy has. Right? So there is a ventilation perfusion mismatch. Now let us just check some Berlin, uh, some, where are we, come on, come on, come on, Berlin definition, okay, acute respiratory, right, so acute, so when they are saying this word acute, so it should be within one week, okay, so that is why acute, then bilateral opacities we showed you, bilaterally it will be affected, and this is not explained, uh, these opacities are not explained by uh, effusions or lung collapse or nodules, it's not those causes. Then there is respiratory failure. Understand, there is a respiratory failure. Okay, then um, impaired oxygenation. Okay, this is the definition. So what is the definition of ARDS? Within one week acute, so there is a respiratory failure. So there is impaired oxygenation, that is a respiratory distress. Then you will see bilateral opacities, which is not explained by any lung collapse or effusions, etc. Mostly it will be there in the dependent parts. Okay. Now, how will you determine the severity of uh, ARDS? So, to determine the severity of ARDS, you have to do some PA-FiO2 ratio. PA, I think they are missing some terminology here. FiO2 ratio. So, PaO2, that is from arterial blood gas. Okay, and then fraction of inspired oxygen. So, when you are breathing, how much oxygen? If there is enough oxygen in the air you are breathing, then just check the PaO2. What is PaO2, guys? Oxygen Pa in the artery. Yeah, this PaO2 is nothing but the partial pressure of oxygen in arterial blood. Okay. <clears throat> so, basically, artery, uh, how much it is able to suck out from the inspired oxygen, isn't it? So, this will uh, be 100% if you are sucking out the entire oxygen from what you have inspired. But if you are not able to suck out, that means um, this ratio will be very less, isn't it? So let us see in this guy how much it will be. So 
so the ratio will be for a patient who has this much and this is around 20 kpa okay so this will be moderately severe so mild is 40 to 26 moderate is 26 if it is less than 13 it is severe ARDS that's it so this ratio of uh, partial pressure uh, of oxygen in the artery to the inspired uh, uh, oxygen fraction fraction of inspired oxygen this is this is less that means the artery is not able to pick up the oxygen that's it so if it is less than 13 it is severe now it's time to look at the management of uh, ARDS what are we looking at we are looking at the management of ARDS uh, so you have learned do you know how to diagnose very easy right you will take chest x-ray you will take chest x-ray CT which you already saw <clears throat> then how will you manage supportive just give mechanical ventilation what are the types of ventilation are there other than mechanical ventilation okay then negative fluid balance treating the underlying cause this I like I like this one treat the underlying cause because if it is infective then you should know no I like this one treat the underlying cause okay so you can put the person in prone position it seems very much like AIDS uh, sorry <laughs> COVID what they teach you extracorporeal membrane oxygenation you have to just have crores if you want to get this treatment extracorporeal membrane oxygen, oxygenation actually means extra crores to be spent on uh, membrane oxygenation ECMO okay so basically understand that um, uh, this is uh, not even there uh, that much anywhere but if you have then it is almost crores that you have to spend on it okay and please don't blame the hospitals and doctors for the cost of ECMO okay we saw some forward which said ECMO they have charged so many lakhs or crores of course it is that one is such a technology where you are going to pull out the blood and oxygenate it and send it back extra corporeal membrane oxygenation it's going to do the job of your lungs for you in this video we wanted to look at acute respiratory distress syndrome that is ARDS remember it's acute so less than one week they are saying respiratory distress that means there is a respiratory failure less oxygenation hypoxemia right the person is not able to oxygenate himself right respiratory failure is there and um, this is ARDS so basically what will you see you will see that there are diffuse neutrophilic alveolitis alveolitis very important word the alveoli are damaged the cells within the alveoli are damaged there is fluid uh, protein rich cellular fluid within the alveoli the exudation right this all this can happen because of uh, infective or in, uh, non-infective inflammatory process so there will be a lot of cytokines chemokines macrophages neutrophils etc there can be highline membrane highline membrane within the alveoli see highly mem uh, disease membrane diseases there in neonates right with surfactant problem see the same word they are using here and here the surfactant can get lost or uh, there can be impaired production also there can be alveolar collapse right if there's no surfactant what will happen alveolar collapse only will happen right especially in the dependent areas of the lung you will see all this um, uh, infiltrate okay then um, uh, there will be uh, hypoxemia and hypercapnia so more carbon dioxide there is a one ventilation perfusion mismatch okay that is the person is able to breathe in uh, the oxygen is having enough uh, the air you are breathing has enough oxygen but uh, the arterial uh, blood gas uh, still doesn't have enough oxygen okay so you saw this that uh, in the CT the dependent portion is having a lot of white opacity so based on uh, uh, this definition, Berlin definition of ARDS, there should be within one week, there should be respiratory failure, impaired oxygenation, there can be bilateral opacities in chest x-ray, you should uh, rule out effusions, uh, lung collapse nodules uh, for these uh, opacities, okay. So uh, that is the uh, Berlin definition, definition, definition of ARDS, okay, Berlin definition of ARDS. How do you know how severe uh, this ARDS is? Uh, PaO2 divided by FiO2, this ratio. So how much arterial, uh, uh, that is the partial pressure of oxygen in arterial blood, how much it is divided by uh, fraction of inspired oxygen, okay. So that is what is um, uh, PaO2 divided by FiO2. So uh, basically if this is uh, more only it is good, right? good, right, that means your artery has enough oxygen. But if it is um, uh, less, see 40 means mild, if it is 26 it is moderate, if it is less than 13 that means it is a severe ARDS, okay. 
how will you manage guys you have to take this ch uh, chest x ray uh, ct etc we told you you'll have to give mechanical ventilation um uh, supportive care you can give you'll have to treat the cause because it can be infective etc you'll have to put them in pro prone position if required or you can have ecmo for them which is very 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 expensive extracorporeal membrane oxygenation which can cause crores right in india as of now that's it for now in this video bye bye